All right, good morning. Big Dog here with y'all. Um, yeah, so here's the controversy right now. Um, everyone's calling for Mark Rick's head. Um, as a lot of you know, um, I've been an avid Mark Rick supporter um, all of his tenure. Um, even this year, I decided, you know, one more go around. Uh, let's give Mark Rick one more go. Uh, let's, 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 let's not. Um, let's get Mark Rick out of there right now. Um, I am calling for Mark Rick's head now. Uncle Lou, I'm sorry. You were right, brother. Um, you know, wishing one hand is shit another. I like to believe that, that, that Georgia this year um, could have stepped out and Georgia could have done something more than what they've done. Um, Georgia has proved time and time again that with Mark Rick, we cannot win the big game. Um, when he first came to UGA, um, he he was taking over something that Jim Donna had had, had, had already built. Um, those recruits were already there, but of course, then when we get when we get players like AJ Green, No. Sean Marino, Matthew Stafford on the same team, and that's just offense. I mean, let's not even talk about the defense. The defense. I mean, you had Jarvis Jones, Alec Ogletree, Bakari Rambo. I mean, come on, Brandon Boykin. You put all these players on the same team and you have top 10 recruiting classes for the past six, seven years and we can't get a title. That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. Um, not only that, you know, you have a man who now is taking responsibility for the squib kick call last year against Georgia Tech that cost us the game. There, there's no doubt about it that that cost us that game. Um, a man who took responsibility... It, it, if you'll go back and watch the 2012 national title game, when Murray's going down the field after he made that big pass to the tight end, and Murray's walking down the field, Murray looks over it to the sideline to Rick, and Murray goes like this. Do you want me to spike it? Do you want me to spike it? Rick says, run the play, run the play. So whose fault is that? Um, there, there's, there's just been too many close calls here and, 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 and not enough finishes. I'm not going to get on here and go into complete total tirade. Um, I don't think that's necessary. But what I do think is necessary is a coaching change down at UGA. Um, we need a new coach. Uh, we do not need to continue to be nice guys finish last. Um, this, is, this is just enough. It's getting to be the point where it's embarrassing. It's getting to be the point where this is ridiculous. And it's getting to be to the point where I am not going to another single Georgia game. I will not attend another University of Georgia football game until Mark Rick is gone. Period. Period. Big dog ain't going. Um, not only that, I'm tempted to take it a step further and not even watch another down until Mark Rick is gone. I hate to say it because I've been a Mark Rick supporter for years. So for me to be having to say this right now, it actually disheartens me. But you know what? I want to win. I want national titles. I want championships. And you know, UGA, I hate to say it. So long as Rick's at the helm, we're not going to get it done. Uh, that's all the big dollar really has to say. Um, probably a lot more that I could interject, but uh, right, when you have players of the caliber that we've had year in and year out, and you're putting boys in the NFL who are key players at their positions, and you have all these guys on one team, got to get it done. Got to get it done. Until next time, man, big dog with you. Go dogs.